giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me midnight. Uh. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me high and dry. So a little room tomb for you of our Airbnb. It's pretty, huh? So I am about to get, not cooking, but you know, microwaving is also a job. Also got this little fish sardines. I never really love, like it. Andres like it. Likes he likes it. Remember, I'm a Russian native speaker. English is not obviously my second language. This is see, I love it. This is shrimps, like huge shrimps in a cream. That thing we're gonna. Finish 100% today. For the rest, I'm not sure. Because you know when you how you shop grocery when you're hungry, you just take everything. And I can't believe I'm doing this because I signed up yesterday for a Pilates class and I want to see it, how it, I want to try. So I'm hitting there and it's raining. Since it's uh, end of July and Paris become ghost city in August, it's pretty empty. So I'm trying to benefit from that and I'm kind of hoping the class won't be full because it's in French, my French is not perfect. It's actually far from perfect. And also because I accidentally picked like super advanced class. So I'm kind of scared. So it's here in this cute backyard. So we just finished the class. It wasn't, it was good, it was great. Uh, I left the studio, really recommend it. The guys are nice and you can buy some, like you can buy socks, you can buy activewear. And I'm heading up for my coffee. Even though the weather is suck, I'm not gonna spoil it. Like not opposite, I'm not gonna ruin it. The weather is not going to ruin it. So, heading to see a new coffee spot. Let's see. So, came to this coffee shop and waiting for my coffee. See how pretty it is? It's so nice. I feel like, I don't know, to me, in my age, it's like going to the Disney they love here. Yeah, I, can do so 
so happy I am on my way to my favorite department store called Le Bon Marché. So it's like the best place for shopping. You'll see. This is the brand I really love. This is why I'm here. There is also this one that I use a lot and I really like it. So this is the product that I'm here for. This is a really nice brand that I know. And I use them when I don't use gel like now on my nails so i'm here mostly for the beauty stuff but of course since i haven't been here for like a long time i'll do a tour maybe i'll try something and there is still sales so we'll see this is like the place to be honestly i love the others too like the gallery lafayette and printum but this is the best one What white thing that I just showed you they create sort of installations every season every almost every occasion of the season and it's something spectacular connected with art now with something to do with lover I haven't read it yet but anyhow it's really worth visiting not just for shopping so I wanted to try the jeans because jeans are hard to find and actually i never owned the one the brand that i'm gonna try now it's a brand called redone so we'll see i tried it it's not bad and not great it's okay but 100% not my style but the tank top is really nice also from Redan and I have another pair I'm gonna try now okay this is a little better I don't think it's my my cut or my fit so it's been like many times I tried Redan never worked so far Well, just to let you know that Lulu is a restaurant. So they did this cute collaboration with with the department store. This is like one of the best underwear brands I know. It's so soft. They have like a big corner. Actually, it's, it does look super simple. But the quality and the fabrics, so great. So they have this crazy uh, lingerie underwear department, like lots of cool brands, but I want to try a few pieces, like I don't know, I hope girls are watching this. This is a cute brand, uh, sort of affordable everyday um, underwear, and I want to try this one from RS they started activewear not sure when but let's see if this fits me and i can use it for i don't know for pilates for example so the size is good but i think you have to be more brave to pull this i'm not sure i am Here is also like a beauty department, more niche and more independent brands, like this one for example. Can I actually like this floor, it's on the first floor, than the ground one. See? That's actually chocolate. It's a really good one, by the way. And this is the same brand and they make what? 
that herbs sort of like a herbal tea i guess that's actually great for the like you know as a gift this chocolate is crazy good you should try it this is the cafe on the third floor or no on the second i love it So at Celine, you will always think that you are a little too fat, you know, because normally I wear 24 and this is 25 and see. Anyhow, it's just so tight here. So the end, of course I got too excited. Got to record stuff, but that's that's it for today. So it's Friday and skipping breakfast. I skip the breakfast. It's like afternoon lunchtime i'm going to pilates class to the same studio i was so i need some me time so i finished the class actually if you guys watching and you like pilates the one that i promised in i really liked more and the teacher was great too the other one was great too but it was more intense i think I'm going to see if one coffee shop that's really really good is open because they always close on um, like end of summer for the vacations if it's open I'm gonna have one of the best coffee of the week it's open yes it's open it's called Tillis second district it's full of Korean and Japanese restaurants and this one is this one they have a restaurant and boulangerie like a bakery full of Japanese treats you will love well it's not just treats it's like food also and here see crazy right well I didn't suppose to buy I didn't want to buy anything. I just wanted to show you the the bakery. So I ended up with a onigiri with tuna. Delicious and three euros. Oh, I also passed by the store, Key Mart. It's like a thing from like all the groceries from from Japan, from Korea, from China. Treats, anything actually, from like rice, sauces, sauces to chocolates. Sometimes I buy things for the kids from that uh, supermarket so if you are, are in a second um, arrondissement district this is the area to be and the name of the street is rue saint anne One more place in Paris that I really love is Wild in the Moon and they have like it's it's a brunch they have a lot of um, cafes in the city I think they have like a couple of in Dubai somewhere in Amsterdam maybe somewhere else I often come to this uh, location at the uh, Marché Saint Honoré and this is my staples they have they have cookies and some bakery stuff sugar-free and uh, vegan and this is chaga latte I love it's like chocolate with chaga and I think they made themselves the almond milk so it's really good if you guys vegan or like looking for like more healthy options this is a really good 
Please, they have salads ready to go. So I came to the gallery Lafayette. They have this new floor concentrated on like sport, health, self-care. And there's a lot of brands that you can't find anywhere else. So let's see. Okay, see, this is part of self-care. See, this is also a self-care. I do like this one. And the reason I'm here is activewear because I didn't really like the selection yesterday at the Bamakshe, so I want to try something to see something different. So it's my last morning of July in Paris and it is officially one of the calmest day of the book here. Most of the businesses are closed and I'm actually trying to find coffee so it's that would be a challenge. So let's see. That's the same street I was out yesterday, and it's empty. And I kind of like it. Also, you know, one of the tips for coming to Paris is actually coming in August. Even though most of the things are closed, it's still it's nice. It's like less people, less busy. You will love it. Yeah, I see that. No, the texture is good. Yeah. 7 a.m. we at the Chardable Airport. Getting ready to our flight was cut off. I do love the airports. It's just a bit sad that it's been just a week in Paris, but I'm coming back in, in a month. Um, so let's see. I don't know. Maybe you guys comment and say to tell me like what kind of things in Paris interest you. What do you want me to show? This is new Terminal 1, I think. You see so many great stores here. Look how pretty. The lounge is insane and it's not even... It's like for everybody. I guess we're going to 
going here? Like, who, who would have thought that I am inside of a, of a airport?